Okay, today I would like to explain how to simulate Poisson processes on Google Sheets. But first, we need to review the theory of the Poisson process. Uh, Poisson process is a stochastic process uh, that follows this probability distribution. Probability that n of t is equal to some given non negative integer is given by this Poisson distribution. Okay, so this will run like this. So we start from n of 0 equals to 0. So we start from 0 here. Then at some point, some random point in time, this will increase by 1. And then after some point, it will increase by 1. Uh, increase by one. Okay, it doesn't jump two steps or three steps. Only increase by one. Okay, something like this. Now we cons let's say uh, this is uh, n, and let's say this time when this random variable n of t reaches n is t n. Okay, so this is a random variable. It's a continuous random variable. So this is t1, this is t2, this is t3, and so on. Okay, now next we consider the intervals. Okay, so this interval is q1, this interval is q2, and so on. In other words, qn is defined as qn a uh, tn minus tn minus 1. Of course, we assume that t0 is 0. Okay. Now, what probability distribution does this random variable follow? Okay. First of all, uh, this q1, q2, q3, and so on, they actually follow the same distribution, and they are independent. Okay, that comes from the fact that this Poisson process is a Markov process. Okay, so Qn, uh, let's say Q1, Q2, and, and so on, they are independent, identically distributed, so it's IID. Okay, and also uh, Q1, is equal to t1 minus t0, but t0 is 0, so this is t1. So now consider the cumulative distribution function of t1. So let's specify some uh, value of time, uh, lower t, lowercase t. So this probability is uh, means uh, the first increment of the Poisson process is less than some specified value. Okay, uh, this is t1. So this means that n of t, so, so this t is the same as this t, okay, is greater than or equal to 1. Now, so this means uh, we add, just add uh, all of the probabilities uh, n equal to 1, n equal to 2, n equal to 3, and so on. So this is actually e every possible values of n of t except for 0. So that means this is equal to 1 minus p0 of t. But according to the definition of the Poisson process, when n is equal to 0, this probability is equal to exponential of negative lambda t. But uh, if you notice, this is the cumulative distribution function of the exponential distribution. So in fact, if you differentiate this cumulative distribution function, then we get the density function, right? So if you differentiate this, we have lambda exponential of negative lambda t. This is exponential distribution. OK. 
Okay, so this means q1, q2, q3, and so on, they all follow the same exponential distribution. Okay, so this gives a hint as to how to simulate a Poisson process. Now, when we simulate uh, the Poisson process, the easiest way is to first discretize the time. Okay, so if we have uh, this time axis, we only consider uh, these discrete steps. So this interval, let's say, let's call it delta t. Okay, so these intervals have all the same uh, length. Okay, so we only consider n of zero, which is by definition is zero, and n of delta t, n of two delta t, n of three delta t, and so on. Okay, so we only consider the times uh, that are multiples of delta t. So we have to specify this value of delta t first. Okay, given that, and of course we have to specify the value of lambda. And given that, uh, how we can uh, specify whether uh, this random variable increases by one or not, it can be determined like this. So first generate a random variable in the interval between zero and one, including zero and excluding one. So this is a uniform distribution. Okay. Then if this R, so this generated R is less than one minus exponential of negative lambda delta T, then uh, increase increment by one. So that is plus one. Otherwise, else, uh, else, uh, no increment. Okay, so this is the basics. So that means at every step, we draw a random, uh, random number, a uniform random number between zero and one, and compare that value with this. And if this is satisfied, then we increase uh, the, the random variable. Otherwise, it will stay the, stays the, stay the same. And we continue this over and over. And that's it. So let's see uh, the actual examples. OK, let's implement Parson processes on a Google Sheet. Uh, let's first uh, fix the first row. And we first need to specify the parameters. Okay, the first parameter we need is lambda. Let's say it's 0.1. And we also need delta t, which is the step size of time. Let's make it 0.1 also. And from these two parameters, we can determine the probability of increment. That is 1 minus exponential of negative lambda times delta t. Okay, so that would be this much. It's pr pretty small. Next, we uh, just generate a sequence of integers from 1 to 1,000. Okay, and uh, time. Time is given by uh, this row. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, C2 minus 1 times delta t. Okay, delta t is B3. So we need these dollar signs because uh, it's, it's a fixed address. Okay, so let's copy this to all the rows here. Up to 1,000, 1,000. And so next we uh, 
want to decide whether to increment or not. Increment. So this one, uh, for time zero, we don't need anything. And uh, for this, if random number, so this run function gives a random number between 0 and 1. If this is less than uh, the, this probability, uh, let's b4, then increment by 1. Otherwise, do not increment, so it's 0. OK, so we copy this. OK, and finally, the random variable we need is given by this, uh, the previous step, plus the increment. OK, and we can not fail. OK, so this will simulate a Poisson process. OK, so let's plot them. So time and oh, time, oh, wait a minute, time and the random variable. Let's plot it. Uh, well, I should use time for this and remove this. So here it is. As we can see, uh, we can simulate this Poisson process. So every time uh, I edit this sheet, uh, let's edit, we uh, can find a different sample like this. Okay, by the way, since uh, this is lam this lambda is 0.1, so up to time of, uh, let's say, so up to time 100, the expectation value of uh, the this Poisson random variable should be time times lambda. So that will be uh, 100 times 0 0.1, that is 10. So on average, the final value of this should be around 10. Of course, it depends on the sample, but on average, it should be around 10. So see, we have nine, maybe uh, seven, uh, more than 10, like 13 or 12 or so. So it fluctuates, but uh, the average should be uh, 10 in this case. And if we change the value of lambda, like, let's say 0.2, then uh, we see something like this. So it looks more or less smooth compared to 0.1 because the probability of increment is a lot larger. Approximately twice as large, actually. And uh, let's say 0.5. Then we have this. It becomes closer to straight line. See, so if this is really big, let's make it 100. It's like straight line because the probability of increment is close to 1, as you can see here. It's 0.9999544 and so on. So at every time step, it, it increases by 1 almost surely. I mean, it's not quite almost surely, but uh, it's very close to almost almost surely. Okay, so that was how to simulate Poisson processes using Google Sheets.